So let's hop yeah. over. We're going to hop over to our feature hop. match here. We so just Francis on the right is going to be on Rug Waterfalls, Rug Cascade, Rug Dak Faded, and whatever you want to call it. Um, it's kind of a basically a bunch of Cascade, cascade spells and uh, free suspend cards. Mm. Chris on the left is going to be on Sneak and Show. Kind of the tried and true mm -hmm. format staple. Uh, we'll have a deck list here shortly, hopefully. Oh, yeah. Uh, I'll actually go take a peek. I think we can just go grab those now. Um, yeah, we who do you like in this matchup? Um, so I don't know exactly Francis's list, but I know that he's limited on the amount of counter spells he can play because you don't want to cascade into counter spells. Mm, okay. So it's probably force of will, possibly force of negation, hmm. um, which means that he might not be favored. Yeah, once he realizes that he's playing versus uh, Sneak and Show, he'll probably want to save his counter magic specifically for the enablers that allow Chris to be able to put whatever card into play, correct? Yeah, exactly. You want to hit it, uh, you know, the sneak attacks or the uh, show and tells or whatever, mm -hmm. that, that kind of stuff. Let me go see real quick if I can snag lists. I yeah, will, if we can I'll be right back. Grab some deck lists real fast. I'll walk you through the rest of this game so far. Chris taking a draw off his ponder, picked up a force of will. So he has protection for the combo should he need it. It looks like Francis, I think with a brainstorm in hand. And here's a, uh, whatever that guy is. We just had him on camera last, last round. I already forget the name. I thought, oh, Dread, Dreadhorde Arcanist. Um, so this is also another enabler for uh, the free cards because you can cast um, Ancestral Visions or like Crashing Footfalls. Uh, from your graveyard for free. It's pretty good. The harder part is getting them into the graveyard, which is partially what the Dak Faden is for, which I believe he has in his hand. But Chris, I think double fetching here. This might be a show and tell. All right, we have lists. Thank you, James. Yo, got some lists here. Perfect. It seems like so far nothing particularly exciting has happened. Uh, is that a Dragon Horde Arcanist? Dragon Horde, yeah, we saw that yes. guy earlier. Yeah, so you can you can cast your your free suspend cards that have no mana cost from the graveyard when it attacks. Oh man, it's pretty busted. Attack, draw three cards. Attack, make two four fours. Does it suspend them or you just it casts cast them? Yeah, good card. Here's three mana. I'm okay. guessing this is show and tell. Here's show and tell. That's getting. Force negation, pitching Dak Faden. Welcome to the format. <laughs> <laughs> so we're probably going to see a force of will pitching That's brainstorm. So both players going to lose a life here as they uh, both. Well, no, I'm sorry. Only only Chris is losing a life here. Yeah, he only has cost a life. And uh, uh, force of negation does not cost you life. Correct. I'm sure I'm going to mess that up at some point today. And uh, so one sneak attack and then one. Uh, here's here comes. Shiny Grizzle. Yeah, here's here's a Grizzle Bird. And uh and draw a whole bunch of cards. So he's gonna lose seven life cards? Yeah, he's gonna pay seven. I think he's acknowledging that he played a land for turn. Yes, he did. So he's looking for Lowest Battle, which he found. And cracks Lowest Battle, here's Emmercool. That's game. Alright, game number two. Wow. Sneak attack. Uh powerful, powerful magic card. Emrakul, Gristlebrand, also powerful magic cards. They sure are. Yeah, uh, as of right now, it, it seems pretty in Sneak and Show's favor in regards to main boards. But looking at sideboards, uh, I've got Francis' list here. He's got one Null Rod, one uh, Magmatic Sinkhole. I don't know what that does. Uh, two Cinder Vines, three Pyroblast, two Torment Script, two Surgical Extraction, one Blazing Volley, two Back to Basics, and one Shenanigans. I don't know what Blazing Volley does either. I'm going to... Look we'll both of those up for a moment. Cards. Okay. Um, uh, I obviously, surgical extraction is n not the one I'm thinking of. Um, sorry, because he's not entombing and things. I'm thinking of reanimate. Yeah, that's, that's right. different than yeah. sneak and show. The graveyard hate much worse. And uh, now you can you could hope to like counter a sneak a sneak and show and then surgical it. That happens sometimes. Um, I think he's probably looking at the pyroblasts. Fight over the stack a little bit more. Um, although it's not a great hit off of. Um, your cascade, you kind of have to take some losses in that regard. Um, outside of that, I don't really see anything that I'm in love with. Magmatic sinkholes, one red, five colorless, instant speed, delve spell. Oh, it's the uh, new one. 
Uh, deals five damage to target creature or planeswalker. Okay. Yeah, not, not for this matchup. No, definitely not this matchup. It doesn't deal seven damage. Cannot kill Gristlebrand. Uh, the other card you were Blazing Volley was that the one that I you think were so. Blazing Volley? Yeah. We look that up. I'm gonna go over Chris's list sure. real fast. Uh, he is working with two sideboard of braids, a Chandra Torch of Defiance, two Pyroclasm, a Power Blast of his own, two Blood Moon, two Grafdigger's Cage, a Flusterstorm, an Echoing Truth, a Karn Sign of Urza, and two Defense Grids. Um, so of these, I kind of like, um, I think probably the Blood Moon. Also, no, Grafdigger's Cage doesn't work. Uh, Grafdigger's Cage actually sort of works. It hits the, it, it hits the that, Arcanus. Yeah. Okay, so uh, I like the Grafdigger's Cages then also. Mm -hmm. I mean, you could also probably bring in the Flusterstorm, just a little more uh, ability to force through your combo. Mm -hmm. uh, Blazing Volley is a uh, one red mana. Sorcery speed spell from uh, Almond Cat. Blazing Volley deals one damage to each creature your opponent controls. So that's probably more for like the... Uh, like empty the Warrens. Uh, kind of empty the Warrens or... Death Delver. and Taxes. Death yeah. and Taxes. Okay. And Shatra. Yeah, so uh, I think probably... Yeah, Blood Moon, Scrafter's Cage, Flusterstorm. You could... Maybe you want the current? I don't know. I don't know how grindy you need to I be. Feel like, I feel like that might be a little too slow. Because unless... Yeah. Because Sneak It Show either explodes or it doesn't really do anything. If they're not doing anything, I don't know if you want to wait for a Karn to hit the table to be able to... Um, but I don't know. Maybe that is what you do. Because uh, you could also be making Constructs. Um, yeah. You get a little more a little more defense, a little more draw power. But I'd, that might be more for control matchups. I don't really know. Maybe Chandra. A little bit of removal. I guess you could bring in some of Braids to take care of these Red Hurricanists if that's something you're concerned about as well. Actually, I like that a lot too. But I think you're probably favored, so you want to avoid going too heavily. On the other hand, if Chris didn't find that force so well, I think he probably would have been in some trouble that game. But we'll see. <laughs> Absolutely. Um, yeah, so 30... Five players today, I believe, is what the... Oh, yeah, one extra one snuck in. One extra one snuck in right at the end. So that means... Let me f Google, because I forgot to ask. Yeah, I believe six rounds. I think anything higher than six 32 rounds, is six okay. rounds. <laughs> six whole rounds. I think it might be the first rounds. time we'd have that much for Legacy, but... I think you're right, actually. I don't think we've had Legacy be more than five rounds. Usually it's... It, I mean, it's just a little bit less of an, of an intended format, usually. Um... Less people have decks. That's kind of the main thing. Legacy decks cost money. Mm -hmm. People don't have money. But uh, players looking at their hands here. I think Chris with a sneak and a show and tell rather, a force of will, a couple or at least one lotus petal. Might be a sneak yeah, deck. Also. Thirty-three to sixty-four is six rounds. Yep. So we were already in six rounds beforehand, but that's fine. Yeah, we didn't get pushed over by that player or anything. But I think one time we had to do seven rounds in a, in a modern tournament because one person showed up and put it over. Yeah, we actually got over 60-something on one of them, mm -hmm. right? I, yeah, I remember that. I remember being in the booth forever. So <laughs> It took all day. It was, it was an experience. Chris not liking his seven. Going to yeah. hit that mulligan. Took some deliberation there. I think it might have been borderline. I think it probably had us. Uh, the ability to put something into play, but it didn't have the thing to put into play, mm -hmm. I'm guessing. Um, Francis, I think, keeping his seven. So he has some lands. Uh, at least that might be Brainstorm or Force Will, hard to tell. Um, with a Dreadhorde Arcanus as well, at least one. I'm a little curious as to what the players in today's tournament's thoughts are on the London Mulligan as it will be coming to effect uh, pretty soon. We're still on the uh, Vancouver Mulligan. Yeah, this is a comp REL tournament, so no ability to opt into the uh, <laughs> London Mulligan until it officially becomes the only Mulligan. Mm -hmm. um, once M20 drops in like a week. It's pretty soon. I think it's a week or maybe or two. Or pre-release next week, two weeks, yeah, in, uh, something like that. I don't know. What sets road is M19's gone and... No rotation yet. Rotation in the fall. Wow, so we have all s the rest of summer. Th this is the largest standard will be until the fall. So you'll get some really juiced up decks for about three months and then get to wave goodbye to N19, Dominaria, and the Ixalan block. So that means, yeah, I have 
Very limited time left with my uh, white red. Ooh, here comes a wasteland from Francis. Yep, gonna take care of that. Chris says, that one. okay, Chris might be stuck here. If he kept a one land hand, I've seen Sneak and Show do that before. I think he has an ancient tomb in there, but maybe no color. Can't color cast man, uh, no. blue spells with ancient tomb, though. Yep, huh? doesn't work. Yeah, some kind of uh, old border land that uh, I don't think makes colored mana. He has a lowest pedal. He could do something. If that is an ancient tomb, he has three mana. So Francis shuffled and drew a card from Ponder. The thing is, if Francis does have interaction, then you're kind of hosed because there goes your lowest pedal. Yep. Yeah, here's the ancient tomb. You can go to 18. Open himself. Boop. Francis uh, with that another wasteland pop. ready to go to the top. Here's show and tell. Uh oh, this looks like no counter spell in Francis's hand. And Let's try for Grizzle Brand. Here's a Grizzle Brand. I think that is Cinder Vines. Is that Cinder Vines? Yeah, you're pretty right. sure that's Yeah, you're right. I thought it was a Dread Horde Butcher for a second. No. I'm like, why is that in the deck? That'd be funny though, huh? Yeah. Yeah, that's Cinder Vines. Not good against Gristle Brand. Would be good against basically anything else that got put in. Mm -hmm. um, but now you have to figure out how to kill this Gristle Brand. Which is hard for the uh, damage based removal blue red deck. Yeah, it concedes Gristle Brand. Didn't you have to draw cards? Cannot beat 7 7 Lifelink. Rough. They're pretty rough. I thought, it, I thought this was kind of a poor matchup for, for Rug. I didn't know it was this bad. Seems pretty bad. Uh, we're going to see what we can do about getting our backup match over uh, onto the feature match. Um, it'll be, I believe, if I'm not mistaken, Death and Taxes versus Mono Red Prison or Eldrazi? Eldrazi I can't Stompy. remember. Eldrazi Stompy. Yep. It's going to be Grim versus Wagner. Interesting. If, uh, I'll, uh, I'm guessing they're still playing because that was very fast. That was very fast. Yeah. Yeah, that was two games very quickly. So they're probably barely even like into five turns. <laughs> yeah, probably, they're probably still in game one. They, I would not be too surprised. Right. So we'll take a look. Um, I'm going to take a break. Take a break. I'll, I'll, I'll stay in here. Fine. Up. See if we can. Oh, there's not like four people, but. Yeah. Four.